Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. So, the news, right? We all watch the news. And you know, the news, it's all about reporting important stuff like death. So, there's a lot of deaths on there. And also like the weather. They tell you the weather as well. Sometimes though, funny stuff happens on the news and the internet loves it. Like remember when that intruder snuck into someone's bedroom with the intention to harm them? That was so funny. We got your t-shirt, you done left fingerprints and all, you are so dumb. I feel like that was the internet's first giant viral news moment, you know? We as a society thought it was so hilarious that an intruder was trying to sneak into someone's bedroom Bedroom, we made it into a viral hit song with some auto tune. He's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. I'm not even gonna say the next part. We all need to be canceled, is what I'm saying. Where is the bed intruder though? There was never any follow up. Was he found? Did they find the man who was intruding the bedrooms? Where is he? The whole nation was watching, and you're saying all we did was make a song about it? I hope he's not still intruding people's houses. Like what? 2010 was a different time, sis. Can you imagine if today, like on the news, they interviewed hurricane victims or something and someone online turned it into a viral auto-tuned song? Evacuate. Evacuate. Sounds kind of like a bop, but it's wrong. Like we shouldn't be making viral songs out of tragic moments, hunty. So the first news clip we got here is... Oh crap, I gotta go to an ad. Let me just take a moment to thank this video's sponsor, Zen. Zen is a new social commerce platform that allows you to create and share amazing content and even sell unique products. Zen's algorithm is amazing and it specifically tailors all of the content to you and your interests. You'll be able to scroll and scroll forever. Zen has room for everyone and there's already so many great creators on there from all different walks of life. No matter what you're into, there's a place for you on Zen. They've got life hacks, beauty, food, entertainment. There's even an animal section so you can make that sweet, sweet content with your pets. Zen is always finding new ways for you to make and watch new content. So there's always something to watch and you'll be inspired to create whatever you want. To make for a better user experience, Zen has a zero tolerance policy for fake accounts, only real people allowed. And Zen already has a bunch of high quality creators on there. Zen also has e-commerce features, which help empower users to grow their following and then leverage that following by selling products directly on Zen. All in all, Zen is an exciting new social commerce platform for everyone to enjoy no matter your age or interests. What are you waiting for? Use the link in my description below to experience Zen and download it. And thank you so much, Zen, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to the video. So the Spa Kenya Fox News 28 has an interview with Flossie Dickey. She's 110, which is old. She's lived. 110? Sis, that's a lot of time. It's been a whole ass century since she was in middle school, and I bet she's still suffering from the trauma from it. Middle school trauma, it doesn't go away in a century. Hopefully they ask her about that. And also I want to know her secrets, because I want to live to 110. Are you kidding? Good morning. Yes, we are out here at the Cheney Care Center and I am sitting next to the woman on the front page of the Spokesman Review this morning. This is Flossie Dickey and check it out, folks. We got her her very own Good Day Spokane coffee mug. She is enjoying some coffee this morning because Flossie, you say you're a little tired this morning. Is that right? I am tired. Can I just say I love Flossie Dickey's vibe. <laughs> She's on the news. A camera crew is surrounding her, but she's not gonna fake enthusiasm for this shit. Maybe in her 30s, she would have had some fake enthusiasm for the local news, but she's 110. F that shit is what she's thinking. And I don't know if I'm jumping to conclusions, but it appears she doesn't like the reporter. Like I'm getting shade vibes. She's 110 and throwing the shade. She is very tired. I heard your favorite activity to do at the center here is to take, take a little nap. You can nap many times as I can. I'm just glad to hear that after 110 years, naps, they still hit just as hard. Flossie has three children. You have 12 grandchildren, 20 great-grandchildren, and 15 great-great-grandchildren. You sound like a very busy lady. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Flossy Dicky is an icon. She's not obligated to give an answer. Nuh uh. Nope. Yes, the camera is pointed directly at me, and I'm pretty sure this is live on television, but nope. Nah. No answer, homie. She has lived in multiple places um, in the Northwest, even lived in Arizona. Tell me you guys caught that flossy shade. The effortful smashing of her eyelids as the reporter's talking. She wants out. She's done. I'm really hoping for some dramatic storming out of interview energy. This morning, we also have some flowers that we would like to give you. She got her nails done. I don't know if you can see, but they're a beautiful pink. Pink and purple, we heard, were your favorite colors. So I'm just going to set those on your lap for you. Right. <laughs> and, um... It won't stay. Flossie is not impressed with the gift. She's like, okay, let me get this straight. I turned 110, and as a reward, you went to the Walmart clearance section and got me a $5 flower set. Okay, no thanks. Take them back. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> what would you ra you would rather be taking a nap, huh? Yeah. Everyone in the room thinks it's a humorous, silly joke, but Flossie's like, I'm serious. I ain't joking, though. Can you tell them all not to come? Listen, I'm 110, sis. And all I want to do for my big day is sit in my room, search on YouTube, Adam Levine shirtless, sensual, and eat some chicken tenders in the privacy of my room. Got it? I don't want to spend my birthday with 76 relatives. They're loud. They break stuff. And they smell. That's exactly what Flossie Dickies think. She doesn't fight it, she lives it. And that's what her uh, granddaughter actually said to me. Flossie is about to throw a punch. I can just sense her annoyance building. Like she was like, whatever, I'll be on your little news station. I know you want to use my birthday for some clout. I'll give you the clout, Spock Kenya news, but it's starting to bubble. She's going to hit her breaking point. We're going to see somebody get smacked. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Flossie Dicky. My new idol. So Flossie was 110 years old. Now we're gonna meet 86 year old Bernice. She has some stuff to say and we're gonna listen. Did you really snatch an 86 year old woman's purse? She wants to hurt me. And the bitch don't even know me. Somebody stole this lady's purse. Are you kidding? And on top of that, that don't doesn't even, know, even know, me. know her? We need to get to the bottom of this. At 86 years old, Bernice Starts is full of spunk. She's traveled the world, seen a lot, but never anything like this. I hope that they beat her ass. Some of the women in prison beat her ass every day for as long as she's in there. Some people might say that's harsh. Well, so what, what she did to me was even worse. <laughs> She straight up just said on national television that she wants somebody to be beat every day in prison. <laughs> this is why I love people over the age of 80. They aren't gonna go on the news and give some answer like, oh, yeah, my bag was stolen, but at the end of the day, I just wanna send my love to the purse thief. They must have been going through a rough time and I already forgive them. I have nothing but love for them. Nope, that's not Bernice's answer. <laughs> I hope that they beat her some of the women in prison beat her ass every day for as long as she's in there. What did you do with the cash? Do you feel bad? Do you have any remorse? I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. The purse snatcher better be ready to face off with Bernice. Bernice might be in a wheelchair, but I can just tell with the anger bubbling inside of her, she could take any of us down. That girl should be scared. Bernice would get you down and run over you with her wheelchair multiple times. She would get her posse of friends. They would be hitting you with their walker. You wouldn't stand a chance. This is why you should never steal a purse from someone like Bernice or anyone. That's not okay. She allegedly grabbed Bernice's purse from her wheelchair and later tossed it out like a piece of trash. With Adrian Terry in jail, Bernice's hope. And she stayed up for the rest of her freaking life. She tossed Bernice's bag like it was nothing. Somebody better have gone to that trash can and retrieved that purse for my girl, Bernie. Can I call you Bernie? I feel like we're on that level. If nobody's gotten you your purse, girl, I'll go get it. I know this clip was posted in 2016, but I will go to the ends of this earth to get you your purse. Where's her purse? This evening, a detective gave Bernice a ride to the Bronx Criminal Court courthouse and now this 86 year old is ready to speak her mind one more time during Terry's arraignment. 
and the clip ends there? Are you kidding? I want to see Bernice verbally abuse this lady in the courtroom. I feel disappointed. I feel let down. It just ended. Right now, I have the feeling that we all get, you know, when you subscribe to someone like Abby Lee Miller's OnlyFans and you find out that in all the photos, she's wearing pants. And you're like, okay, that's a bummer. That's what's going through my body right now. Next, we have a wholesome interview with an 11-year-old surfer champion. Inspiring. What does your, um, your dad and whatnot think about all of this? Because I'm sure that he's an athlete. Is he an athlete, your dad? Yeah, my dad was an athlete, but now he's um, pretty fat. <laughs> he, um... Okay, rude. But I want to hear more. He used, to, he used to eat like two liters of ice cream every single night. <laughs> like of those Murray salt caramel ones. And then he used to get really angry at mom because mom didn't always buy it for him. Yeah. But then mom... But when dad got really angry, mom started buying it for him all the time. <laughs> the dad to the side of the camera like, okay, that's enough. Let's talk about your surfing, daughter. Because she's making all this up. She makes up stories. We actually need to get that problem fixed. She, she lies all the time. She's a joker. And uh -oh. then he had to suck his gut in for photos. It was really funny. Oh, no, he's flop. How fat's your dad now? He's actually lost um, 20 kilograms since Christmas. Yeah. Because he's oh. seen me eating so healthy because I've been inspired by Sam. Sally. Yeah. So now he's just eating cucumbers. And he's, so he was like 105. The poor dad. Just give every detail of your dad's weight loss journey to the entire country via the news. I know I said earlier people over 80 tell the truth, but that goes for everyone 11 and under as well. People under the age of 11 will just walk up to you and be like, you have a gay voice. And you're like, thanks. Like I remember when I was six, I had a babysitter. And one time she just stood up in front of me and was like, Lucas, do you think I need to lose weight? And I was like, I don't know, I'm six. I haven't noticed anything about your body type. But she kept asking, she was like, no, if you had to like compare me to other people, like your mom and stuff, like, am I bigger? And I was like, I guess. Like now that I think about it, like if I'm comparing you, you're bigger than others. And I would feel bad about that situation, but she asked me and I was six. Dave Rowe knows all too well how it feels to have his home broken into. Yeah, and see, that's what the problem was. Cause I heard him first, I said, hold on, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Cause then I start to taste them. I say. He tasted the home intruder. I've never tasted anyone in my vicinity, like just in the air. Great, I'm gonna get robbed. Cause I don't have the ability to taste people surrounding me. Shit. I ran upstairs, I had to run. I had to do what that little girl, what's that little girl uh, in the Holocaust? She had a, uh, she was Anne Hathaway, Aunt Frank, Frank and Beverly. And Frank, that's a hiding bitch, ain't it? I had to get up the stairs. He is so entertaining. He's telling a story about a stranger breaking into his house, and somehow I feel like I'm watching a sitcom. LND, get him on the show. He had so much rhythm when he was walking up the stairs that doom, doom, doom. Bitch, I started to almost beatbox up in the closet. Oh, boom, boom, boom. I'm just a little shook up. That's all that is. As the intruder was walking down his stairs, the rhythm of the intruder's footsteps made him want to beatbox. Look at this guy making the most out of any situation. He's hiding from a burglar, scared probably, but he still takes the time to notice, hey, that's a good beat and I'm gonna beatbox to it. You gotta make the most of any situation. If you're watching this right now and you're kidnapped, just like have fun with it. Make it a fun thing. Maybe call someone too. Don't just have fun. Like you should try to escape. If you win that jackpot, what's the first thing you're gonna get? <laughs> first thing I'm gonna get? <laughs> Uh, you can be honest with us, sir. Oh, I, I can be honest because we're in Nevada. It's legal. I'm going to have uh, find me a new wife. Okay. You just know that there's a wife off camera. Like, are, are you sure about that, Gerald? Okay. You're going to get a, a new wife if you win the lottery. Oh, got it. Okay, I see how it is. I fold your nasty ass underwear. And to repay me when you win the big bucks, you're going to replace me. This guy's on a cliff right now, it looks like. And I feel like the camera's cut there. He's going to be going down that cliff shortly. He tumbled down the cliff. His wife definitely snapped. Oxygen series coming soon. Last but not least, there's a really good moment from the news. This is like over 10 years old and this girl is just like really good at rapping. All right, you're gonna have a good, good drive today. There ain't no problems on the major roadways. Looking, looking at country club, things will look pretty good like Robin Hood. Now I'm moving across the triad, yo. It ain't too bad. No, 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 no. Now 
things look nice on 68 and I know you ain't gonna be late. Are you telling me that as a society, YouTube, this website, it's gotten Sean Mendez discovered, Justin Bieber, they have record deals. They're on the radio. Where's this girl's record deal? Huh, Scooter Braun? Life isn't fair. She spit those bars. She slobbered on those bars and to nothing. Is she still doing the news? Cause if she's not in a studio with two chains, then I'm gonna say, that's wrong. <laughs> Bad. <sighs> I always like to end the video on a really negative note. Anyway, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mwah.